They stood on Bosley Avenue outside the Baltimore County Detention Center advocating for people held here waiting for trial. Innocent until proven guilty. Right, right. This group of small demonstrators, their messages, everyone deserves their human rights and we will not be silenced. On this sign, a list of their concerns. They claim the jail has moldy showers. Inmates are kept three people to a cell. The facility is understaffed and serves moldy food. It is overcrowded. Staff is overworked, has rats, and inmates are sleeping on the floor. Even though they're there, they're still human, and they need to be treated like they are human. The protesters say they are aware and worried about several serious incidents that have happened inside the detention center. Last week, the I-team reported on the assault of 29-year-old Tyrone Moss. His mother and grandmother complained they were never officially notified. They said they got a call from an inmate telling them Moss was critically injured and taken to the hospital. The anonymous caller telling them, you don't know me, I don't know you but your son needs help. We told you how the I-team contacted the Baltimore County Department of Corrections and the county executive's office. A statement from the county told us Moss was at a hospital in stable, non-life-threatening condition, and the Department of Corrections Gang Intelligence Sergeant is conducting an internal investigation. Also, families are not notified of an inmate's injuries unless they are life-threatening or are severe enough to require long-term medical care. Inmates are adults, and their personal medical information is protected under the law. We learned Baltimore County Police are also investigating that assault. They had to make a change. The protesters say they've tried to reach detention center officials about their concerns, but they have not gotten any response. They plan to keep fighting for people who have rights, because I would want somebody to do it for me. Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News. Now, 11 News did reach out to the county for comment on the protest, and we are still waiting for a response.